Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today we have Suhani with us. So she had qualified her CA in November 22 examinations and uh, right now she is working in HCL. Uh, so let's hear more about uh, Suhani from us. Suhani, please. Sure. So thank you Sudanshu for inviting me here. So myself Suhani recently qualified in November 22, currently working in HCL as a senior executive in fp department. So, yeah. It's my introduction, little introduction. Okay, so Suhani, uh, how did you get into uh, HCL? Sure. So, like uh, before telling that, I will tell how I applied or how HCL approached me. So, mm -hmm. I applied through their LinkedIn, I applied through their career portal from where I did not get any response. So, I arranged the HR number from the person who got into the HCL. Mm -hmm. The moment I got the number, I contacted the HR. HR told me to send the CV. Once the CV got shot, they said he will contact me again. So this okay. is how I contacted the HR. So like I guess after two days, HR called me again that your CV got short tested. We, mm -hmm. we are having our interview, like taking the further. So on the same day, like there were three rounds, two technical rounds and one was HR. That was CTC discussion. Okay. So mm -hmm. in first technical round I had with the manager round. Mm -hmm. So like do you want to also know how the interview process and the questions? Yeah, yeah. sure. Go ahead. Sure. So the first round, uh, the mainly the questions around sixty percent questions were from my CV, and the forty percent questions related to the FPNA. Mm -hmm. So the CV, like if I have mentioned the internal audit or stat audit, he asked like what you have done, what was your uh, responsibilities over there, and, like if I have served as a team leader, what I did actually. So he mm -hmm. asked question related to my CV. Now the remaining were related to the FPNA because as a FPNA we didn't have much exposure or experience about the FPNA. So he asked Swani, what do you know about FPNA? Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then he asked for that. He asked my Excel, how will you rate yourself in Excel up in one to ten scaling? Then mm -hmm. he asked like uh, that we will we are having the hybrid model. Is that okay with you? So mm -hmm. these questions were there where 60% were related to CV and 40% were related to my FPNA. So okay. that was having the first round with my manager. I guess after two, three days after having the second round with the senior manager. Mm -hmm. So that was around 15 minutes only where he didn't ask related to any CV questions. He asked my Excel tips. Like he asked for the formulas which I know. And he asked how you can put X lookup, V lookup pivots, pivot charts, how you put that. So like he want to know whether I am knowing the Excel practically or not, whether I know PPT presentations or not, because in FPNA we have to do, we have a command on Excel and the PPT presentations. Mm -hmm. So the questions were related to the Excel and the PPT. So this is how my interview process was there. Yeah. Then I was having the last HR round that was normal about that CL and CTC discussion and all. Okay. So Suhani, when you said CL is uh, going, is working on hybrid model. So is it a complete work from home or uh, you need to go to office twice or thrice a week? Okay, like earlier, I guess they were having the hybrid model, but uh, right now they are just having the completely work from home. So I guess this is going to be happen in the future also. They are continuing with a work from home model because in FPNA we don't have to go office and meet, right? We can manage by home also. That's why they are not having hybrid. They are having hybrid when it is so much necessary to meet, to interact with having the meeting. But they are having currently the work from home model only. Okay. So Suhani, we have done service. What exactly do we do in this FPNA profile of uh, XCM. Correct. So like since I have completed only one month, so I'm going to tell on that basis. So in HCL, there are four to five FPNA teams. So I am into the sales FPNA team. So in sales, we have to prepare the budgets. We have to prepare the variance analysis. Actually, currently I'm not given any analysis part, how data are moving in that direction. We just have to prepare the data. It means data analytics work are there. We have to present the data in a structured way so that the person who is going to do analytics, he can understand, right? So as a freshers, for I guess one to six months, we just have to do the data analytics part 
putting the formulas, structuring the data, and making the pivots, making the pivot charts, slices will be there. So what I do, we like, I will give an example. There are so many head level people. That head level people is managing different countries. So we have to prepare that head level people how much sales they have done, how much sales overhead they had incurred. So we compare with how much sales with sales overhead. So we prepare the data according to that. We prepare the PPTs also. So currently my work is into the budgeting and the sales overhead analysis, bills receivable analysis, totally into the sales. So like one month basis, I can tell this much only. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so I, let's suppose one uh, get into this like, the under department and then want to switch career into big four, it to stack or it or any other department. So mm-hmm. what do you think, how smooth this process is going to be if once they join this profile? Okay, sure. Like what I feel that switching of domain can be done at any time. Because I have seen people working in STAT for five years. Now they're switching to SPLA. Totally okay. Because people switch after years to years, right? Switching can be done. But the problem is if you're switching to different domains, industry will treat you as a freshers. So your CTC will be according to freshers. That you have to keep in mind. Second, like if your domain is interrelated, like merger and acquisition or FDD or FDD or FPNA, if they're interrelated with each other, then they might consider you as an experience. But but mm-hmm. if the domains are very, you know, not related with each other, they will treat you as a fresher. So do, like domain can be changed at any time. You have to work hard for that. But you will treat it as a fresher. That only the point here is. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Suhani, when we look at look into FPA, there could be two uh-huh. parts of it. One could be one working in industry and the other one was working for service line. So uh, how do you differentiate between these two? Right. So like in industry, industry is a very huge. Like industry, there are so many departments like purchase, selling, distribution, planning and so much departments we have to deal with. But in service, like service does not deal with sale or purchase. They have their own on the apps making things. So you don't have to deal with these departments where I feel if I compare with the industry and the service. So industry will give you the more growth opportunity as compared to the service because service does not have the variety of departments to work upon. Right. So like if person is want to choose between the service and the industry, I will definitely say if you are having the industry, you know, offer with you go for the industry because as compare as with the growth, if I come compare that are having the more growth in the industry as compared to the service because of the department things. But service is also a good thing because so many good companies like Flipkart and the Mintra and good companies are, are into the service line, right? So if you are working in service, like HCL is into the service. So I can, after two to three years, I can switch to Flipkart or Mintra, Wipro or any other company. So that totally depends on your interest. If you're having the interest in service, you can stick to this one. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so honey, do you remember any of the questions that were asked during your interviews? Okay. Can... Uh, mm-hmm. Like he asked that what is the difference between the budgeting and the variance? Budgeting and the forecasting. What is the difference between these two? Okay. Mm-hmm. Second, what is FPNA that I told you? Like, if I have to summarize what is FPNA, I will say that we act as a mediocre between two departments. The departments of different, like purchase, sales, and these people and the head level people. We prepare the analysis. We collect the data from these departments. We do some analysis and then we transfer it to the head level people. So this is what FPNA do, right? So like questions were, what is FPNA? So some questions were related to my Excel. Then um, CV related was there, right? Then um, most because interviewer also know that we don't have much experience in FPNA, right? So like if you are a fresher, do not ha- don't have worry that he, what what he would judge you. No, because he know that if you are having the interest, na ki sir, I will do FPNA. Thoda bhot bhi interest hai. That is totally fine. Because okay. we know that in article shape, we don't have experience in this case. You should just have to know what FPNA is, what people do, what they do. That is only going to, you know, have it. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so Suhani, uh, 
so Sonami, any uh, tips that you would like to give to someone who is going to appear in uh, XCL interviews? Yeah, sure. Like, uh, I will say, just stay confident. Okay, firstly, the most basic is stay confident. If you are having the low communication skill or not com- good communication skill, do not worry much. Just focus on that you are your message there. Right? Right? Second, if you are going to a niche profile, do the basic thing. What do you do? If you are going to HCL or any service, any company, do the company. Do the company. Do the study. What do the company? What do you do? I will ask you to ask you to ask the interviewer to ask you to ask what kind of work will I be given. Right? That's a normal basic thing. ज्यादा उसको कॉम्प्लेक्स मत करो कि एफपीएन है तो मुझे बहुत को जाना चाहिए नहीं नॉर्मली है वी एज अ सीए फ्रेशर हैव टू डू ओनली वी जस्ट हैव टू नो द बेसिक्स ओनली राइट नॉट सो मच इनटू टिप ओके एज इन मतलब कि कॉन्फिडेंट uh, थी होके जाओ तो यू विल बी एबल टू क्रैक द इंटरव्यूज नथिंग मच हां एंड योर सीवी टिप सीवी कैन मेंशन एनीथिंग ऑन सीवी यू शुड हैव ऑन द टिप बिकॉज़ द सीवी क्वेश्चंस वर ऑलवेज देयर ओके ओके सो आई थिंक Um, everything that you told, if someone listens to this, will definitely able to crack the interview in its year. Um, so uh, I would like thank to thank you, Suhani, for coming here and uh, providing all the yeah, insights about so the much. HCL and the FP and the profile. Yeah, it was a great time with you. Also, I enjoyed a lot. Thank you. Thank so you. Much. Yeah.